Welcome everybody to episode 39 of My Time at Porsche with Raven. We are heading out to, I think we were doing some wind turbines this morning. Wow, if it was a bright and sunny day, we might even think about our photographs, but not right now. Let's check in here. From the Commerce Guild. Dear Builder, thank you for your exemplary effort in discovering product issues in yesterday's inspections. You truly have the skills of a top-tier builder. Here's a little something for your time. Alright. So I guess we're back into the normal morning routine. It is a Sunday though, so we're going to head over to the, uh, the Commerce Guild in a minute and get our Sunday inspection out of the way. Uh, maybe after we've done our turbines because then we don't have to come back before we head out to place them so we'll do that in a minute let's get this done I should check my calendar too everyone's running around like lunatics it might be a sign that something is on and we haven't checked our map so map Something exciting is going on up here, and I have... Wow. Okay, not going to be a slow day today at all. Now let's get going. Uh, right, we're after our ironwood planks. Let's grab some of that. So, priority one was getting the uh, wind turbine up and running. Place those ironwood planks. So we'll get this, we'll get this in. Uh, you know, I think I'm going to just delay my rounds on everything else. We're going to put everything away that we can. Sort all. And, alright, go into our crafting. Drop off our whatever that is. I didn't know I was out of cubes. We might throw those in there as well. Head into our foraging. Foraging for wood. I swear I had another ingredients. See, there it is. No, that can't be right. Alright, maybe I'm just misremembering. I oh, know, I need another ingredients one. Okay, so I think our excess ingredients we're going to just drop into our farming box like we did last time. So we'll just drop... Actually, I might take that with me because we can gift the kids those. We'll... Gives me more stamina. I think I have all the stamina items I need inside. Ah, oh, badges. We're going to get rid of our badges while we're here. Badges, chips, tapes, and weapons. Just sort everything up. All right. So I can drop the Harvest Festival badges and the Knight's badges. I think those are... Oh, the Rider's badges in. All right. So we have a few missions to go find. We have a Commerce Guild inspection to do. We'll get that out of the way first. Uh, and then we'll, you know, if we see any exclamation marks bouncing around. This morning we'll grab them like Arlo, for instance. Arlo, 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 Arlo. Oh, hey. Want to join me on a run? Oh, sure. I could use the exercise. Great. Let's go. We'll, we'll go for a run. Where does he want to go? He wants us to go to Peach Plaza. Alrighty. Let's go to Peach Plaza. There's a little orange circle on my map that shows me where I need to be. Uh, and run to the tree. You know what? We had a mission out there anyway. We, we should probably go check that out. We can, we can do that while we're here. Run to the tree farm. Now I'm intrigued as to what that little star is on, the, um, on my map. I don't know. Run, Raven, run. Man. Oh wow, there are there are that looks like an exclamation mark up in the church in the church service. So we might have to very quietly sneak in and see what that's about. Whew. How After you this doing? you look really tired. You need to exercise more. <laughs> wow, Arlo. Is this your usual exercise routine or are you just training for an event? I'm glad you asked. I'm training to join the best adventure guild in the land, the Flying Pigs. Uh -huh. Their entrance exam is Notoriously difficult. So I must prepare myself for the next opportunity. Sounds like a plan. Thanks for accompanying me. I'll go for a few more laps and then finish up for the day. Alrighty. Uh, you're welcome. Okay. Now, I, I thought I saw... I did see an exclamation mark. Out it. Hey, Raven. Need help with anything? Can't think of anything. Thanks, though. 
No worries. It's just that the tree farm work finished early this season. I've nothing to do. So really, if you need help with anything, don't hesitate to let me know. This is new. Ah, uh, I'll keep that in mind. Ah, uh, I do have a small commission for you related to another thing, however. Ah, uh, uh-huh. I was speaking with Martha about ju her juggling her kid along with the bakery and I ended up volunteering to help her do some shopping. Could you make me a wooden basket for carrying the groceries? Ha, huh, sure thing. Thanks very much. Hey, Hello? uh... You, I haven't given you a gift yet, Ardit. Thank you so much. I really like it. I'm really glad. Want to talk? I run into some danger when I'm out <laughs> on my walks through nature. But you always find a way to avoid it. I know. Dawa. I guess hey. while I'm here. It was such an honor to take over the party at Tree Farm. You do a really good job, Chu Man. Here you go. Is that? Wow, I like it. You're really welcome. Okay. So that's uh, taken a couple of arrows off. Let's let's zip straight down to home. Yeah, that's right, because that one's up in the church. It's not something we can run to quick. We might make art at his basket while we're here. I, I don't remember ever getting a basket mission from Ardit, so I think maybe that's a friendship mission I've missed in my other playthroughs because I came because the stuff was added so late. I like this. Well, it wasn't added late. It was just added after I'd started playing them. So I know what I'm trying to say. I'm not saying it real well. All right, let's go grab ourselves a basket for Ardit. We do want to get into this commission soon, though. New basket. We'll craft up one. There we go. All right, so now, now I have another arrow on the screen. I know, we're going to go this way first. Um, I'm really... I'm, I, I don't know what this is about. This star... Oh, maybe it's Walk the Pig or something. No, no, because that would be... An exclamation mark. Just head up to... Hey, Gust. How you doing? You know, QQ seems to be healthier now. Uh-huh. Whatever you did worked. Albert got me this when he went to Walnut Grove, and I have no need of it. Why don't you take it? Uh, okay. Hey, Gust. Um? Have a gift. Albert is a good partner. Also a good friend. Uh-huh. Uh, a gift, a gift. Here, have breakfast, you grumpy man. You've chosen wisely this time. Ah, you're welcome. All right, now I have stars over here to get rid of. Yeah. What is it? Never mind, I don't have anything to ask. I know, because I really hate... That I've tried the other options and they don't... I, I don't know what they do and I don't want to... I mean, how would you feel if someone said, Hey, your friend gave me this thing you gave to your friend. It's... It just seems like a poison chalice, really. Alrighty, let's get going. We'll go with this. And we'll go with this. Lacking moral coverage? No, I'm just not starting trouble where I don't need to. I mean, why would you? I, I don't understand. Ah, oh, this one looks a little tough. Maybe I'm missing it and it's really obvious. I was like, there's something here, but I think it was wishful thinking on my part. Sometimes a top-down view will help you, uh, but not always. Because sometimes there's like little bulges that you don't see when you're looking straight on. Hmm. 
No, I think this one's going to de defeat me. I might tap out. All right, where was it? The needle? Oh, yes, I am blind. <laughs> I should have seen that one. Never mind. All right, what have we got? A tricky pickaxe. Oh no, that was all right. Oops, my bad. Oh wow, I'm not doing too good this morning. That was it. Don't ask me what it was. All right, let's try again. Well, that we, that we could see. And that one. All right, and there's a ripple here. There we go. Right, I feel a bit better now. I don't remember having a miner's helmet before to, to check on, but that's awesome. Big fat foot in the back there. And there. All right. I know, we're going to go and check out how we're doing up here. We're, we're kind of there. 1300 points, close to 1300 points in the lead. All right. Two pesky extra missions. Oh no, they just seem to be multiplying. Uh, all right, we have that interesting thing happening up at the clinic. I think I know what that's about, but while we're up there, we might go and order our, our fleece. Our worn fur from the um, from the civil core. We'll just we'll put in for three lots of it just to make sure we keep the supply up. Boom. All right. Rather than run past our, our supply point, let's fix that. I think also we might need some more tempering fluids, so and maybe maybe we should order two lots of worn fur. So we just go to item collection, one fur. Hit the middle, then max it, post it. And post it again. And we're going to go into ruin diving, because what we want is some, some more of that. So I get seven out of there, five, five. All right, so it looks like we need this one. So let's post that there which reminds me we haven't gone into ingles i may have to do a couple of sessions on ingles mine just you know a level per day or something we'll see if it gets quiet enough for us to do that oh yeah all right let's get this over with dr Shu. good you're recovering well and should be good to go but i'm still having headaches doctor for the headache Use the medicine from last time for a few more days. Things should be fine. Oh, okay, but I still feel my heart beating really, really fast. Heart oh, no. still beats fast? Did you rest well? Working too hard at the Commerce Guild? Make sure you get enough rest. Okay. Hey there. Hey. Uh, just passing by. I oh, know. Is he gone? He's gone. What Strange. You should be fine with these medicine. Why are you still sick? Maybe it's something else. Yeah, it could be some new disease. Pay attention to it. <laughs> could his condition be related to his mood? Mood? I don't really know then. Wish I had learned more at Seaside. But I was young and foolish, so I left when I thought I had already learned everything there was to learn. Oh, by the way, here's a task for you. In the next few days, my teacher will send some medical books and magazines to Wuwa by sea. Can you ask him about it for me? Let me know if it has arrived. Sure, I can do that. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, Hi. Well, we're here. How you doing? Fall is the nicest, except for the mosquitoes. Ah, oh, you should try and find some more of that grass you used to gather with your master. Thank you for giving me a present. You're welcome. Oh, I thought I saw... Okay. She's good. So, I mean, we, we could date Dr. Zhu, but I don't know. I... Dr. Ju, Arlo, Ardet, there's so many choices, way too many. Let's have a look at our map. All right. Dr. Ju's books and 
Okay, let's um, portion busybody. I don't know if helping people out makes him a busybody. All right, let us drop the basket off to Ardit before he goes to bed. Because I think it's getting late in the day. We've done a lot of running around, I think. Alrighty. See if we can catch him before he heads off. He's, he's normally... Where's he gone? Hi, Ardit. A tisket, a tasket. What a fine basket. I'm heading to the store to go grocery shopping for the first time in my life. You've already helped me so much and I hate to be a burden, but something else? There's a, a hole in my bucket. I've been changing the water for McDonald's Ranch lately, but well, I can hardly do that without a proper bucket. Can you make me a new one? Sure thing. Thanks so much. Uh, okay. Well, I didn't know about it. What, this chain of requests, this is awesome. All right, before we head home to make the man a, a, a new bucket, we're going to head out to the harbour store and see if we can catch up with Wilwa. And uh, and maybe, if we're lucky, pick up Dr. Ju's books. Um, or at least let him know that they're coming. Okay, what do we got? I know, it's so empty here and I get so lost. I <laughs> still get so lost. Here he is. Hey, hey Wuwa. Dr. Shu's book? I'm quite confident about my memory, but there have been no deliveries to Porsche recently. How about this? I will let you know if his books arrive. Sounds came good. came back from a delivery trip to Vega 5. The people there are awfully excited about the prospect of connecting with Sandrock through Porsche. Oh, I so want to see Vega 5. That looks like such a good place. Uh, I have no rubber tyres for Wuwa. I actually don't see a chest around here a minute ago. I did. Wow, I don't remember there being a chest here, but okay. Colourful fur, thank you. Alright, now that we've done that, let's just hit my map for a minute. Alright, so that's definitely those. Uh, missions, we are. Dr. Shoes books, so portion busybody, do we need a water bucket? Uh, but I think before it gets, oh, I don't know, I'm torn. Before it gets too much later is a phrase that reminds me that um, Ardit goes to bed earlier than my wind turbines. Alright, so we can, what time of day is it? Let's see, it's getting late in the day. Hi, May. Hi, May. Hey. How you doing? I'm still getting used to how quiet it is in Portia. Did you find it difficult when you moved here? No, I, I like the quiet. Alrighty, back this way. We will make the man a bucket. I was thinking earlier I should make a bunch of buckets for... Um, I do have buckets. What am I thinking? Are they on board? No, they're in my, in my storage. I was thinking I should make a bunch of buckets for... Um... What's her face? Sophie and Mr. McD, because you know, making friends with those guys is is done through buckets. Uh, I just have to work out where I put my buckets. There they are. Yeah. I wish I'd found them on the festival day. Alright, let's um <laughs> we will zip back up to Arda and see if he has any other strange requests to ask. I swear, maybe the man's just making excuses to see me. Uh, no? No. He's just helping everybody out. Everyone thinks he's the knight. Um, it would be interesting to find out if he is and why and why he would have done it. Now this is a fine bucket. I wanted to help everyone in Porsche with my time off, but it seems I always need you to help me do it to give back to the community that has shown me such warmth since my arrival here and well I guess it's no surprise I couldn't do it alone. It's a great place isn't it Portia? Of course it is I love this place. 
We feel the same then. Let's keep doing our part to make it even better. I should get back to McDonald's farm. Take these and see you soon. Oh, wow. He could win my heart yet. I think um, possibly we'll just go and do our wind turbines now. Possibly. Uh, that's the wrong DD stop. <laughs> Oops. You can't get to them from there. There's no swimming allowed. Yeah. Don't go. I, I need you. Oh, oops. Okay, well, I'll just call him back. Uh, we meant to go over here. So I, I think one of the things we might do, and I enjoyed doing last time, was um, letting the character choose. I think I did that with um, one of the pumpkin days, Camille. Uh, basically, when it came to the time to really think about what we were doing, uh, romance-wise, I... Um, I had a look in her heart levels to see who was at the highest heart level and I decided that was who she was probably most interested in. So we, we might do the same. We'll see. Raven might surprise us with her choice of partner. No, I really wish I could put a DD stop outside this mine. But we might end the day here too when we um with chopping down the poplar trees. Ooh. I needed more ironwood. I forgot I left all of that up here. I love that about Porsche too is your your materials don't despawn if you forget where you chopped, mined or gathered them and didn't have space for them. Not sure what they do. Am I still going? Yeah. So once again, we're going to be putting these up in the dark. So our cutscenes are going to be a little bit dim, but I think the whole day has been a bit dim. So that's okay. Let's try not to get bombed by the big pink monster birds. They should hopefully leave us alone. Let's grab that while we're here. Sometimes I find topazes out here too. Sometimes. Oops. Store that. Wow. All right, let's get this one done. Just run towards the dot on my mini map. I love these things. Alrighty, and we'll go this way. So we're going to provide power for South Block. Mint will be really pleased. Oops. Here we go, wind turbines. Look at that. They look great in the sun, though. We've got power. Gail will be happy to hear. Yep, we're right on schedule. <gasps> awesome. Okay, well, I guess, I guess we'll uh, we'll go grab some more poplar wood poles. We will avoid the snakes, maybe. Or not, as the case may be. Ooh, I'll have some of that. Well, fine. We won't avoid the snakes. I mean, we've got to get some XP anyway, so we might as well just... If they pick on us, we'll... Whoops, where am I going? That way. We'll, we'll deal with them. Otherwise, we'll leave them alone. Let's go with two for our axe. I think there was some hardwood cacti out here. There they are. Hopefully I won't get bird bombed. We'll just take these down. So we got two ironwood out of that as well. That's pretty good. I should chop down cactuses more often. Cacti more often. But what we're here for are these things. And I'm just starting to wonder, do I need any more, um, any more aluminium? I know I need more relics, but. Let's grab that one. There's 
a little bit of ironwood's always good and and we've also got some hardwood coming through which means we're we'll have some have the ability to make some normal wood there we go and we've got poplar wood which we're gonna need the i think it's the research center gets quite um, quite demanding of poplar wood poles. <laughs> she just stops for a minute. What? What's going on there? Possibly my mouse. around the back see if I've missed too much again this is another one of those places you can get purple resin once you open it up those trees there it's kind of right above me where the pink bird is uh, you also get pine cones and stuff so we could go mining but I think what we might do is we might we might make a run and see if we can take down all the poplar wood trees um, in behind south block and we will probably take out a few of the cacti as well just jump off the cliff here it's nice you, you don't have to kind of fall on your head i don't think we'll get all of these trees down but we're going to give it a go Oh no, I keep waiting for, for Wooer's grandma to come out and, or mother to come out and tell herself. So we've pretty much used up all or most of our ironwood, so we just want to get a bit of a reserve of that. Grab some hysteria. Here we go. Might as well take that out. Sitting there looking lonely. So I think tomorrow we wait for Dr. Ju's books and it's a it's a Monday, so we'll we'll get in and we'll grab ourselves a commerce commission as well. And I can't remember if I trained cotton this morning. We might need to we might need to go back and train cotton as well. Alright, so much for a little builder to do. Let's go this way. late oh no I don't think I'll make it home we might as well just finish chopping the trees what I might do is chop the trees closest to the snakes first so they don't end up falling over right near them hopefully hopefully I can do this without getting it I sometimes question the wisdom of my builder when she does things like this, but if we drop a tree on them, maybe they'll go away. Uh, or not, they could just get really cross. Yep, they saw me. Let's take them out. Right, now leave me alone. <laughs> I know, I don't think I'll get this tree down before before 3am, but we'll... We'll get a start on it and then next time we're out here we'll uh, we'll take the rest of it over and we're not going to get eaten by snakes because we got rid of them always helpful 
If you're enjoying this episode so far, please hit like. If you want to see more, please hit subscribe. And we're going to get into a second day. Hopefully. Oh, the flying pigs. Oh, I love this. It'd be nice to see Marley added as a like a romanceable character to this game. That would be awesome. Okay, from Wooer. Raven, Dr. Xu's books just arrived. Please deliver them to him. From Antoine. Hello, Builder. Town Hall has given us several orders for long-distance buses for the new route from Porsche to Sandrock, and we've posted them on the Commerce Guild board. Take a look if you're interested. Antoine. Thanks, Antoine. Ah, uh, from the Civil Corps. Oh, thank you, Civil Corps. That's our worn fur from the Commerce Guild for our inspection. Awesome. All right, let's see if there's... Yeah, there, but wait, there's more mail. Wow, it never rains, but it pours. Hey, citizens, I'm happy to inform you that we've opened our South Block trade post. This trade post will be used to trade daily items and materials with Sandrock and other free cities. The post is located in Yeyo's Motel in South Block. The guidelines are written on the post board. Read them before you start, especially you, Higgins. Happy trading. Presley, man, all right. Oh, I don't know where to start. Let's have a look at our map. Okay, deep breaths. Who's this? The secret of planting. Well, oh, I don't remember seeing that as a mission. I probably will when I get there, but you know what? I'm really curious. It's an Emily mission. And while we're here, we'll, we'll hand out buckets like they're confetti. Hey, Emily. Hello. Hey, just wondering. When you're out and about, have you ever encountered oh, I do plants remember that this. bear giant fruits? Uh, giant fruits? Like an apple tree? Mm, no, no, not like that. You know how Mr. Watermelon didn't win in the end. So, I was researching how to grow a bigger fruit. I read that there are species of plants that have giant fruits. I was just wondering if you've seen them before. Oh, uh, no, I haven't, but I can help you look around. Really? You're really the nicest person ever. Let's go ask together. Uh, okay, but first, we're going to go give Mr. McD his bucket. Actually, do I need to see him? We need to see him anyway. Let's go talk to Mr. McD and give him a bucket. Giant fruits, huh? Uh-huh. I believe I have seen them twice in my life. Long time ago, during the Autumn Festival, Sophie next door brought out this gigantic pumpkin. It was unbelievable. <laughs> About the size of a small cow. Imagine that. Hey, you're her granddaughter. Why don't you ask her? Uh -huh. I have already, but Granny went to feed the chickens halfway through her story. Seems like she completely forgot about it. Anyway, what about the other time you've seen one? The other time, I was at Tall Sky, climbing them sky towers. <laughs> and round a kilometer up, I saw them. Giant grapes, the size of small pigs. It was a shocking sight. Really? How come no one from Tall Sky's ever mentioned them? Because I was the only one who's ever seen them in my dream. <laughs> Mr. McD. <Because> of... <laughs> Thanks for the help. We'll ask around. Howdy, Builder. Business is booming. Ever since old 8 8 started helping out around here, we're getting lots of things done. At first, I thought he was a bit of a small fry. <laughs> Turns out he's quite the whopper. Strength wise, that is. Uh-huh. Hi. Hi. My Rambo is... Yes, yes, he is. Uh, we are giving Mr. McD a bucket. Did I bring all the buckets? Yes, there we go. Oh, I forgot to empty my bag. Thank you so much. I really like it. Nice. All right. I haven't given Emily her pumpkin pie yet. We should do that. Let's go find Granny Sophie. Uh, she went to feed the chickens in the middle of her story to Emily, so that's okay. Looks like we've got a bit of a, a bit of a missions day today. Oh, I'm loving it. And and the flying pigs have turned up, so things are about to get exciting. No, I don't want to pick up the chickens. No, Emily, Emily, while I remember, here's your here's your pumpkin pie. This smells too good to eat. You're welcome. Uh, I want to talk to your grandma. I did, eh? You're not a dick. <laughs> oh, sorry. You young'uns all look alike. <laughs> Tell 
your friend, Addy, to stop in here more often. I do enjoy his company. And that facial hair. <laughs> Why, if I were 50 years younger... Grandma Sophie, that's uh, far more information than I, I required. I have for you a bucket. It really is a nice present. Thank you. This is the angriest looking duck I've ever seen. But anyway. All right. Let's, um, <laughs> let me stop and check my map. All right. We have nothing at the tree farm. So we might just come in this way and we'll, uh, wow. We have another exclamation mark on our board too. Come on, Emily. I know she just teleports through them. I think that's cheating personally, but uh, anyway. Ah, uh, where do you go? Wait a minute. No, oh gosh, I'm completely lost. They're on the move, these people I want to see. Ah, oh, that'll be Nora. Okay. Nora doesn't come out till late, usually. Uh, she should be. I think she's an upstairs resident. I could be wrong. I am wrong. No, I am wrong. She's always a pain to find. It's often best just to... Um... I know, completely empty foyer. Oh, there she is. Hey! Giant fruits? I've read through a lot of church lectures on plants, but I haven't seen any mention of particularly large fruits. The lectures usually state that the more care you give a crop, the better the harvest. Thanks for the help, Nora. Alrighty. Okay, so that's Nora's scene. Who else have we got? Who's that? I know. Alright, hang on. We've got to... Okay, why don't we go see this enticing exclamation mark? Oh, I know who that is. That's uh, Arlo, and he'll want me to go for a run. We could drag Emily along for a run. What do you reckon? Let's uh, let's go talk to Alice first. I know, and then I need to really I've talk to Arlo. I've never seen giant fruits. Um, well, the winter of the last autumn festival was pretty big, but I have heard of giant flowers, the flesh-eating kind. You don't want to run into these. That's uh, good to know. I've been reading up on information about sand rock. They have a lot of pretty flowers out there in the desert. <gasps> Maybe one day my brother and I can go visit. Oh, I would really love to see them out in sand rock. Wouldn't that be something? Let's uh, let's go find Ardi uh, Arlo. Arlo, not Ardit. Before the um, we're going to take Emily for a run. Sorry, Em. Got to check in with Arlo before he decides he's not interested in running with me. Hey, 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 hey. Glad you can make it. Let's go. I just love the way he just assumes I'm there for a run. All right, Peach Plaza. Come on, Arlo. Parkour's, parkour's fair game, right? It's good exercise and training, especially if you're in dungeons. Okay. Boom. Wait, why are we not... We're, we're in Peach Plaza. There we go. Uh, then we need to go to the riverbank. <laughs> oh, right. I know. This is again, we're doing cross country running and parkour because it's so much better for Arlo this way. Just ask him. <laughs> Hello. Alright, it's so much better for me this way. Much more fun, too. Oh, you seem very capable already, Arlo. Are you sure you need to push yourself so hard? Yeah, I'm sure. I've not told anyone about this, but the reason I'm training so hard is because I've failed the entrance exam several times already. Aww. I'm training for the next time. I cannot fail again this time, so I must train harder. All Just right. from two days of running, you look tougher already. I'll be here, training every day for the week. So feel free to join me again whenever you're free. Okay. Uh, Emily, sorry, that was a detour from your mission. Let's go and let's go and deal with that. Uh, did I need to pick up Dr. Xu's books? Oh no, I have Dr. Xu's books, so I need to go and deliver Dr. Xu's books. We'll do that as well. Uh, probably, hopefully, fingers crossed. Oh, my trees that need harvesting. Fingers crossed. Hopefully, after we've um, 
found Emily's thing that she needs. Where are we going next? We're looking for Petra. Okay, well that shouldn't be too hard to find. We'll just... There's another star up there. What's that from? Oh, that's Dr. Zhu. Okay, we're good. <laughs> the stars are... Here's a mission you need to deliver on. Okay. Okay, we can do this. Alright, let's go talk to Petra. And again. Plants that bear giant fruits. Uh huh. I've read about them in a book once. I remember they said the old world did all types of genetic experiments on expanding the yield and size of fruits and crops. They even sent seeds into space for long periods of time. Hey. The fruits harvested from these were supposed to be huge. Oh, uh, send them into space? That sounds very hard. That's it. I give up. Wait. Maybe we should ask Martha. Okay. I remember she brought a way bigger than normal pineapple melon to the autumn festival before. She won. Wow, I'm so tired. I've been reading too many books recently. But they're so interesting. Maybe once I find all source, I'll write a book about it as well. Nice. Uh, okay, Petra. That was the voice from the back of the room. Always, always interesting when you hear that. Well, let's, um... Let's go this way. It must have been delayed because we had like two missions running all sorts, huh? That sounds good. I think I still have meat on board. Hey, Oaks. Hey, Oaks. Papa Bear told me I should try setting up a stall in the south block and sell my carvings to the travelers. Maybe I should try that. But who would want my carvings? Uh. Hi. Your carvings are great. You run around a lot. You should run in the fields <laughs> when the sun is high up in the sky. It's a lot of fun. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, you need to eat more meat. Wow, thank you for thinking about me. You're welcome. Martha. Anything I can help you young people with? Uh-oh. Hello, Martha. Hey, Martha. I remember you brought a huge pineapple melon to the Autumn Festival before. What kind of special care did you give it to make it grow that big? I want to know. <laughs> oh, dear me. It wasn't so much my special care that made it grow that big. It was a special seed. I knew it. So giant fruit seeds do exist. Look at that curious <laughs> face of yours, Emily. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> they do exist indeed. I got mine from that salesman wearing the mask. He doesn't come around here very often. Have you met him before? Ah, uh, I... I have met him before, but I don't remember if he had seeds. Well, he's a strange one. Last time, for some reason, he wanted to have the metal spatula I used for cooking. And he said I could name whatever I want in exchange. Wow. I thought he was just pulling my leg. So I told him I want him to help me win the Autumn Festival. <laughs> what do you know? He gave me this seed and told me to plant it. Said the result would get me the prize. Wow. I didn't believe him at first. But then the pineapple melon just got bigger and bigger. I still can't believe it. It's incredible something like that can exist in this world. Maybe you can have a talk with him, Emily. Thank you so much for the tip, Martha. Let's look out for that salesman in this season. Maybe he'll have another seed. All right. Looking to win at the festival, eh? <laughs> Good luck. I'll root for you. Life has been great ever since Aided started doing my grocery shopping for me. My schedule has really freed up, and... There's just been so much more room for activities. I'm glad we have that bridge connecting to the desert now. We have some townsfolk we rarely see living on the other side of the river. Now they'll have an easier time coming to town. Everyone's excited to see the opening of South Block. <laughs> it's a sweet feeling of accomplishment when you see your own city growing and growing due to everyone's hard work. Wow, she's really talkative today. Let's see what else she's hey. going to say. Hey! My store is my pride and joy. Besides your Toby. See you. I know. Alrighty. Dr. Shoes books. Okay, so I do have the funds on me to get a, a giant seed when the salesman arrives. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to be funds though, if he's going to want something special. I mean, there's, I know there's one mission he wants a pan bat mask for, but uh, I don't know if it's this one. I think that might have been the book mission. Uh, mm. 
Doctor's you. Oh, my books! Yeah. I've waited long for these. What happened to your hand? It, uh, it looks injured. Hmm. We're getting more and more books in the clinic. I'd like to have a shelf for these medical books. The clinic has this design, but it does not help. I'm not gifted enough for this kind of work. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out I should stick with being a doctor and not try to become a builder. Well, I can make that for you. Oh, I can count on you? Terrific! Uh -huh. You're welcome. Uh, Doc. Hello. You need, you need a talisman. There you go. Thanks. It looks really special. It is. It's a talisman. It has to be special. Hey, Phyllis, in your normal clothes today, I brought you a talisman as well. Thank you so much. I really like it. You're welcome. Alrighty. Okay, what do we got? Let us check on our map. Alright, I don't think the salesman's in today. And have I got, under manage map, have I ticked? Alright, I want to see my friend icons. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. Let's just zoom in. All right, so there I can actually see who I'm, who I've hit a certain friendship level with for a change. Obviously, I have a bit more work to do. Look at that. There's not that many faces on my screen now. All right, let's check our missions. Doctor Zhu's book. We are going to make a bookshelf for him. We're waiting for the mysterious man. And you know what we've forgotten to do, or rather, what I've forgotten to do. Raven's probably just waiting for me to get to it. We are heading over to look for a um. What are we doing? A Commerce Guild Commission. There we go. After we say hello to Arlo, or before we say hello to Arlo even. Because we have buses, that's right. There are bus commissions coming up. Man. Let's grab one of these. And let's have a look and see what we've got here. We've got seven composite wooden boards for 101 and 810. We can actually fill that now. Three rubber belts. Ooh, 1318, but only 99 rep. The cash is good though. 732 and 102 for seven aluminium wires. So, are we going for rep or are we going for cash? I think today we might go for the cash. All right, I think I can do rubber belts, she says, having accepted the mission. Oops. And we need to go talk to Petra. What do I need to go? Oh, I know why. Where's Arlo? Space it, don't you dare. Hello. Hi, how are you doing? When searching the hazardous ruins, keep your wits. Remember, safety first. Okay. I have nothing to gift him. We're going to have to work on that. Alright, let's zip over to Petra and ask her about a long haul bus. Next episode we'll probably get the, um, the recipe for it. I think it involves shells. And you know, I think I promised Eva too that I would head out to South Block and we would have a look at the bus station on situ because I think the boys have, have put it up so we might do that on the way home. Alrighty, let's grab um let's grab Petra. Well you're not the first to come ask about this. <laughs> We're already working on it. Still, I need five more data disks to figure out how to extend the range of the bus. Can you find these for me? Thanks. I can do nice. that for you. We'll have something for you soon hopefully. This reminds me of my days in Vega 5 actually. They researched a bunch of vehicles. Oh, that's right. Petra comes from Vega 5. Oh, I, like I said, they, they're making, like, they've made Sandrock, or they're making Sandrock, and um, I'd love to see how they go with Vega 5. Uh-oh. What did I just run into? Hmm. Uh-oh. Pinky's going to wake Mint up if she keeps purring. Maybe I can lure her away. Uh, okay, that, that I didn't expect. Man, Remy, you just got me into an extra mission I didn't expect. Hello. Hey! We're sort of a frontier town. Aha, uh -huh, we certainly are. I need Goodbye. to make use of belts. All right. Uh, <laughs> days like I finished all the whoops. No, no, I haven't. I think there was might have been an orange circle there. I completely missed. Okay, let us head. We're going out to South Block because I want to have a look at how the bus station looks, and we might have a look at the trading post as well. So we'll do that. But I haven't got my animals set up uh, because so we won't be doing a lot of it. So, so the bus station is right there. It's huge. 
Um, it used to be an empty, an empty spot, but uh, once we handed it into Antoine, this is what they came back at us with. I should document that. So we've got our water tower on one side and our charge station on the other, and the bus station just went straight in the middle. It's gorgeous. Ah, oh, sigh. But while we're here, we'll also check in at the trade trading post. It took me a little while. Hey, Grandma Yeah Yeah. Hello. How are you doing? I stay with Siwa and she's all alone. But it's good to see the brothers together again. It it is. She likes uh, coral things. I don't think we're up to that yet. So ducks, cows, lettuce. Uh, okay, I have none in stock. We have linen. I've got 20. Uh, dried fish for 50. Layered carrots. Cloth. You know, I could I could do that. We could do cloth. Um, maybe. Apricots. Dried apricots. Fiber cloth. All right, we will do the fiber cloth. And we will do. We can do. We can do the cloth. Maybe we'll do twenty. All right. I know. I don't want to do the thing. Apple juice. We could do pretty quick if I'd bothered with it. Let's do 50 bamboo papayas as well. All right. So we'll add those in and we'll, we'll get a fair amount of cash out of it. Uh, we'll post that's what we're doing. All right. And then we'll fill this order. So this is the first time I ever did this. I, I tried to get the goods and put them in the wagon. Actually, I had a lot of trouble finding the wagon as well. Hmm. Uh, and, I, and I didn't quite know what I was doing. So so we'll, we'll walk through it. So once you've decided what you can and can't give, I mean, you can also do things that you've got nothing for. Oh, yeah, okay. We're also going to fish for catfish on the way, so we'll, we'll do that. We might finish mince thing before it runs out. I think there's a timer on it. We'll just double check that. All right, so... With our missions. Yeah, so we've only got 10 hours to do this. We'll get this done now. Uh, I have a fishing rod somewhere in my backpack. Maybe. Not quite sure what we're doing. Let's just grab that. There we go. I think I normally have it up in the number 8 slot. It's fish. Alright, so we need about, I think it's 3 catfish or 4, something like that. Just keep going. Oh, that's right. Hold that left mouse button in. Once you get your better fishing rod, you can generally catch them quickly without having to lift your finger off the mouse. So yeah, so... Finger down, just pull them in. Uh, it's not normally the best way to fish though, because if you get one that runs with your line, uh, you can lose it. It's two. I think I need just one more to make sure. All right. Yep. All righty. We'll just head this way and we'll uh, go up to here. Confirm that. It's just a little bit quicker to take to take the DD up there than run. It only takes, I think it's a half hour run or something. Okay. And then it just works. Pretty much. I know, look, Pinky, you naughty kitty. All right, and then I think, yep, there's another one. All oh, right. Uh, okay, let's go talk to Toby. Hey, Toby, what are you doing? What do you care? Uh, well, you look like you're having trouble. Are you trying to get some apples? What if I am? Well, let me help. Really? Yeah. You really got some insane leg power. I've been trying to get the good stuff growing on the tree for a long time. It's so nice to be a grown-up. Hey, <laughs> cheeky little rat. We'll give him a, an aroma apple as well if we can. 
There's two, there's three. I think I've got to get five for him, don't I? Something like that. All right, yeah, no, we did. The minute it went to five, let's just jog this way. Hey, Tobes. Wow, you're awesome. Uh-huh. Be my friend. Sure. <laughs> so as you go up in um, in levels on hey. friendship missions, uh, on as you go up in levels on friendship, you uh, you get little little friendship missions that happen. There we go. And we'll it's my birthday you. soon. What are you gonna get me? Ah, if I told you, it wouldn't be a surprise. The flying pigs are in town. Look at this. Can I get a shot of? Woohoo! That's a big, a big marker in the story. I love it. So the flying pigs have arrived. Oops! I now have a star in this square. I suppose I should go see what that's about. I don't know. No, you shouldn't. You have other stuff to do. Uh, yep. Yeah. Gil told me once I'm done getting Southlock up, he'll have more work for me. So I guess I'll be staying here for a while. Awesome. I was half asleep just now. I think I heard something. Well, Pinky was playing and making some noise, but I led her Thank away. Thank you for letting me have a good nap. You're welcome. Okay. Uh, all right. Now, oh, Gust, how you doing? South Block is such a stupid name. <laughs> what was my old man thinking? Uh, um? practical was good. QQ was a gift from my master. I did... I know, I know, but look at you now, with you your bacon fish wisely, rolls. Then. I think you might have chosen wisely, Albert. Once we complete the road, the South Block project will be officially done. <sighs> this project was the biggest one we've ever taken. Hopefully, this will improve my standing in the eyes of some of the ladies in town. <laughs> uh, and he wonders why hey. I won't date him. That laugh is just sinister. Here, good luck with your Thank you. ladies. This is. You're welcome. I know. Hopefully, this will improve my standing with the ladies of the town. Oh, ha, ha, ha. it's like, ah, uh huh. You know, I think he's got a pretty good standing. He just has to have a little bit of faith in himself. Hey, Polly. Miss Lucy will be taking us to visit Siwa's farm over in the Ufala. I'm really looking forward to it. My family's poor, so we don't get to travel much. It's okay, kiddo. Hello. How you doing? All the leaves change color in autumn. I wish I knew why. Oh, you might have to ask Petra. Uh, do you like dried apricots? This is incredible! Thank you so much! Uh, don't tell your mum though, and don't eat them before supper. <laughs> have them afterwards, otherwise I'm going to get skinned. Uh, right, I was supposed to craft a bookshelf for Dr. Ju. Uh, make some rubber belts also for Dr. G. You know, if I'm quick, we might be able to get this done tonight. Here we go. Alright, let us craft one of these. And we might go for three. It was three, wasn't it, I think, for the commission. Let's just check. Yep, okay, good. Let us go and hand in our commerce commission to Dr. Zhu and also give him his bookcase just you know just while he's around because it's easier this way and this we can go straight. This bookshelf is of great craftsmanship thank even you. from Polly's perspective. Thank you for all the help. Here's something for you. Hopefully you find them useful. Okay. Uh, I also have your commission. You're welcome. Okay. Oh, wow, did he just give me a bookmark? All right, hang on. I'm expecting many new visitors in my restaurant once South Block gets up and running. Everyone's excited about it. That's awesome. Um, I have for you... Actually, you don't like bookmarks. What am I thinking? Sorry, Django. I'm confusing you with Mr. Isaac. I know. Hi, Chiwa. I have no fish for you. Let us do our harvesting and crafting that we've been neglecting. No, 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 don't remove all the things from the platter box. That would make me very sad. All right, dried apple slices from Aroma Apples. So it's still at max capacity. Cool. Dried apple slices from Normal Apples. Let's boost that a little bit. I know, we, we're going to have no problems with... Wow, thank you, Llama. With everything. Let's just... um. 
Pat the Llama? Yes. I like the way she turns around for Pat. Let's say happy, happy llama. There we go. Okay. Make sure the llama is fed because llamas need to eat. There we go. We'll add those in. Ah, uh, no, we've already done that. We need to right click and train our llama. We've nearly finished jump training, so we'll get to dash in a minute. We will have the speediest llama on the planet. Okay, in our local neighborhood, maybe. Let's get our crafting done, which we've been neglecting. All right, that's done. And we'll get this one up and running. I'm just trying to think ahead and think of what I'm going to need next. Um, crafting materials wise. I think we might just go with some more of these hardwood planks. Probably at 285. I'm sure I'm going to need more of them. Uh, I should probably also work on on um, ironwood. So we might just have, we'll just get the ironwood up and running a little bit. Oops. Oh wow. Well, let's let's fix that. I may need to go hunting yellow cubes too because I have a feeling that we're that we are running low on them. Oh, and that's our order cart. Let's um let's deal with the cart for the orders as well before we go any further with our yard. All right. So you don't need to gather everything that you had. You just need to come out to the cart, click on it. We have 20 cloths, so we can click on that. We're going to tell it we're going to put 20 in and it's done. Fiber cloth, we have 50. We'll tell it we'll put 50 in and it's done. Bamboo papaya, same again. 50 can go in and that's done. And then we just close it. Hopefully. The delivery guy comes and uh, takes it away and then you get paid. So it is as simple as that. You don't need to go and get the stuff that you promised to deliver and put it in your backpack. You just need to go to the cart, click on the cart and put everything in. Um, I made it way too complex for myself the first time I tried to do it. So that, that also goes if you've got, um, if you've got animals, you don't need to go get your animals out of the out of their pen. You just need to click on the cart and they'll automatically be transferred. All oh, right, what have we got? Igneous brick. We can't open that up yet because there's only one place for igneous rocks that I've found. Um, if there's more, please feel free to let me know. Now, how are we going for aluminium plate? I know, we're, we're getting to a point where I'm going to have to seriously think about it. Um, all right, let's, in the meantime, let's grab that steel plate and we'll boot that through. Copper pipe. Uh, we, 50 should do us to start with and then we might work on something else. Maybe some aluminium wires. In the meantime I'll just refuel that and we'll see how far it goes. Bearings. How are we going for bearings? 33 and 18 more. That's that's fine. Except we're completely out of power cubes. Oh no. Alright, I'm going to have to get some more. I know, I did not see that coming. Okay, we're out of iron, so we'll just keep that going. So we also need to go and get some iron. I think when we get the... Um... Yeah, when we get the order in from the civil call, we might have... We might have some of the things we need, some cubes coming as well. I just can't remember. Yeah, we're going to make some more of this just to build it up a little bit. Again, my fuel is depleted and I can't help it. Yeah, all right. Wow, that, uh, that went quick. OK, what else have I got in my missions? All right, just the mysterious seed and the long haul bus. All right, so we'll just we'll just wander around and we'll just get the last of this done, and then we might take this little character off to bed. Uh, or we could go. It's well, it is ten o'clock now. We will take her off to bed, and I think we'll we'll have to plan a day of mining 
uh, somewhere in the very near future because we're going to need a lot of the stuff that's there. We'll need more shells for these buses too. That's going to happen. I know, what am I thinking? I've actually never run out of yellow power cubes before, so I'm a little bit um, perplexed. There we go. All right, let's see what else we've got. All right, let's go to our timber. So foraging in timber. Put these away. Uh, we will... Farming, fishing, foraging, what else do we need? Wood, green, oh, crafting. That's what we needed. So we just pop the hysteria in there. So I got some frogfish in there. That's not too bad. Just want to see. Okay, I can make a pan back mask if I need it. All right, that's good. But I think, on that note, the town lying quietly, we might let this little character get some sleep. She's not going to know what's hit her. She's in before midnight. But uh, if you enjoyed this episode, please hit like. If you want to see more, please hit subscribe. I'll check you later. Take care out there.